Until last week's game against the Saints, the Rams had not been a game in which they allowed no kickoff or punt returns in a single game. You've now done it two weeks in a row. Mm -hmm. There's not been right. anything returned. Right. Two force weeks in a row. Yeah, forcing fair catches, punting on the boundary. And then, and uh, I realize the 35-yard yeah. rule has changed things a little yeah. bit, but it still, I think he was six for six in touchbacks. It was, and that 50-yard field goal was huge. Oh, yeah, that was big. I had one more for him, but I had to, I had to go for it. Down. <laughs> so. um, Just apologize and move on, right? <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, think about it. You yeah. think about it. You, you, you kick the field goal. What if it's blocked? Yeah, because they're a good rush team. They've gotten some penetration. You kick the field goal, get points. Now you kick off. If we don't get the touchback and something happens and there's a score, then there's an onside kick. Rather rather give them 50 seconds and, and you know, 90 yards and, and no timeouts you know, rather than handle the ball like that. Yesterday's game was the sixth time in 31 games that you've had Zerline and Hecker that you've allowed 10 yards or fewer. In a uh, in return yardage, that's only happened twice before that since 1960, and that leads to field position. Yes. And you started your average drive start was at your own 42 yesterday, 20 yards better than Tampa Bay. So this stuff all it, it all yeah one it leads all to another. Counts, yeah, and so does so you cover stuff too, and you know because of the threat from us from a fake potential because we're going to do that. We don't get the double press outside, and so we get our gunners win the one on one and get downfield early to force fair catches. And they've been and Isaiah, Isaiah, and uh, and Stedman. Here yeah, Stead, recently. and then uh, Brandon McGee instead. Uh, if you get a chance, look at it. We had, I think, it was our first punt return. We had Brandon McGee instead out on their sideline, um, vicing their gunner. Their gunner ended up in the kicking net. In the kicking net? Yes. <laughs> Along with, I think it was a team doctor. Wow. That went in there all, also. And then he's, he's working his way back on the field. You see the end zone shot. And Stead comes off their bench, gets in position, posts him up. When he comes back on the field, and BMAC takes, knocks him to the ground. Wow. And it was just... Good stuff. That must have been a fun Monday for him. Yeah. And, and they've given oh, Justin Belton the yeah. last two weeks some, some room. Hey, Merry Christmas. Thank you. I know that the referees' calls have been the big thing this oh, um, year. And first, let me say thank you so much for our great season. I know it's not where you wanted to be with wins and losses, but I appreciate all the effort the guys are giving. It's awesome. I appreciate um, it. Absolutely. My question is, do the referees at the end of the season have, like, a panel where they get graded A, B, C, D, F? It seems like we're playing a couple teams, all but about two games this year. <laughs> well, um, yeah, there's a, a very sophisticated grading system for the officials. Uh, they're graded on a weekly basis by supervisors in New York. Uh, those cumulative grades will be will be looked at, and basically, um, if they if they're not above the midline, then they, they cut them off. These guys do playoff games. These guys don't. And if you're two years without going to playoffs, then, you know, you're, you're out and replaced. So um, it's very, it's, it is a um, very extensive grading system. So. And then I have just one small request for 2014. Yes. If you could ask the fellas to maybe get a touchdown at the south end of the building on the right-hand side. Oh. Okay. For All section right. 130. Right there, okay. Because we always switch. Right, okay. Field ends. <laughs> so are we scoring all the touchdowns on the, to the right of our bench? It might be. I, yeah, yeah, now that you... It's at, the, yeah. it's at your end. Yeah, of the, to the right of, the, of our bench. Dugout, yeah, yeah, as, we face the, as, as we face... <laughs> so we're not... Really? Huh. She, would like you to chore <laughs> she would like you to choreograph a couple of touchdowns. Yeah, right corner. in that end zone. If, yeah. there's, if there's two minutes left, maybe Chris Givens in the corner or Taylor oh, not, Austin. She's really cor oh, having oh, right. right. there. On the right. Can't be Zach Stacy. No? Zach He's giving us some thought. Okay. If we're, if we're up by enough, I'll just have them run the wrong way. How's that? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Funny. I like that a lot. Um, good question about the rest. Is there one? Look, you, you've been on the competition committee for years now. Is there one area that you would like to see addressed and see more consistency in? One call, one area, one emphasis in the off season where, where the fish stop shaking your head, Marco. See, come on. They, you'd like to see improvement you, on it. at least he, consistency. He's shaking because he's saying there's not one, there's a dozen. Right? Well, no, he's got he's fixed on oh. he's fixed on the defenseless. 
Yeah, I mean, I, I, I had the conversation today with uh, Jolon's hit, you know. This is a, a tight end that's about 6'4", uh, and he's he's catching the ball. His ne knees are bent. He's bending at the waist, and Jolon has targeted his waist area. And because he turns and is low, Jolon hits him in the head, and we have a foul. Right? Get right. Go yes. ahead. Yeah. Come on. How do you play defense with this? <laughs> How do you play defense? I at because least like my unnecessary roughness penalties to be rough, not just love taps in the middle right. of the field. Right. Right. I, I get we're trying to protect guys, but I don't think some of those hits would have hurt anybody. No, I agree, and they didn't. No. But that's, that's, the, that's the player safety element of our game. May I – and shoot it down yeah. if, if, you, if you feel you must. May I – respectfully suggest they interject some common sense back into the room. I just think when they make it black and white and it has to be called, then they fear the repercussions. Whereas to me, if you're going to be an NFL official, you should understand the game enough to know that what is and what isn't a foul via common sense. Correct. But is yeah, that... Is I think so. I mean, they're going to look at everything. I mean, I, you know, I think, I think we want to mention this. I think the referee and the umpire need to switch. I think switch sides. Switch sides, yeah. yeah. Why is that? Well, because the referee's to behind the hand of the right-handed quarterback. He's behind, and he can't see anything in front of him. Okay? Easy. Yeah. That's, that's, an easy that's an easy move. Yeah, yes. just switch. And then, and then that way, because his responsibility, and we talked, did we talk about this? Yes. 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 yes, we did. And then we got better coverage on the rushers, on the tackles, on the holding. And, and then the he can, yeah, yeah. And then he can, the, the referee can see whether the quarterback is hit in the face or not, or see whether the ball, you know, yeah. is incomplete or not. That one, not, that was know, close. Oh, you know what? You, you review that one. I, that, I don't know why they didn't review that one. That was inside of two minutes, and it's, it's out of my hands. Yeah, you have yeah. no option. I have no option, can't do anything. They needed. He needed to go under the under the hood and look at that. We were surprised that he did not. Because Rob Rob hits the ball forward. He hits the ball. He hits the arm and the ball. The arm didn't come forward on its own. Right. No. I wonder if he can get that one back. Can they give him? I thought I saw that someone was awarded a sack two weeks after. It was a no, no call. No. No. Okay. No. You might be rewarded a sack if you didn't quite. Let's say they. Well, didn't get to the line of scrimmage yeah. for no gain or one yard, that kind of thing. But, no, that pass is ruled incomplete. That thing's blown dead. Now, had they reviewed it, we well, – two things. Had they had he ruled it, which they usually do, they rule them fumbles now. And they – because turnovers are reviewable. So they rule them fumbles now, and then they go to the booth, and then, and then they, you know, they review it. And if, it, if it's an incomplete pass, it comes back an incomplete pass. But if you rule it a fumble, we scoop and score. Okay, that's like the Jenks play in Arizona. Mm -hmm. right. If it's ruled a fumble, we scoop score. Okay, it's ruled incomplete. If it's reviewed and reversed, we have clear recovery. We get the ball right there. Still, I mean, I, I thought they should have looked at it. We will step aside, come back, final segment. Look ahead, play in a very good division. You play in an excellent division. You've seen Arizona recently, two weeks ago. Did it surprise you that they went to Seattle and won? No, not at all. I, I didn't. It, uh, Carson's going to manage the game, get rid of the ball. I know he, there were some turnovers, but they overcame it. It was a great throw at the end to, to Floyd, and it doesn't surprise me. You know, they, I looked at today, um, five of the top six defenses right now are in the NFC, and three of the top six are in the West. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah, three years ago, they said it was the worst division in football. Yeah. It, was the worst. it was the worst yeah. division I've ever seen. Now it's completely different. They pissed everybody off. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, what happens? Does does your team gain a measure of confidence going in, going up to Seattle by virtue of the way you played Seattle here at Monday Night Football? Took them to the wire, had a chance to win in the final snap of the game. I think you can. I can use that and steer that that way. But I mean, we all know that you know every matchup is different. Things happen differently in games. You know, there's no reason why we can't get up and make them catch up and things like that. But uh, they know, I mean, <clears throat> their, their familiarity from as far as the opponent's concerned, the personal matchup concerned, there's familiarity there. But, you know, we have to go up and do the same thing, you know, 
get the quarterback, play really good on defense, get some turnovers, and you know, um, do some magic, as she said, uh, on special teams. So, well, she's trying to pick the end zone. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, sounds good. We don't blame you. We don't blame you. <laughs> Jeff, we'll turn you loose to go get ready for the Seahawks. We're going to go do it. Hey, Thank you. everybody have a Merry Christmas. Yeah. You guys too. Listeners, yeah. Merry Christmas. Thank you. Merry Christmas.